They don't have babysitters. Well, it looks like my understudy will have to go on tonight. Start calling every employment agency till you find one that's open. Get somebody, anybody. It sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it. And I'll handle my pal Donald. <laughs> Reckless driving. I'll say it is. You ought to watch where you're going, big boy. Uh, what are you trying to do? Get away? Uh, out of my way. Out of my way, shorty. Oh. I ought to run you in for this. You're big enough to carry me in. Uh, officer, we're terribly sorry. Well, all right, but don't let this happen again. Now get off of my car. What are you going to do with that? Put it away. Well, keep it there. Yes. Uh-huh. I'd better hang up. We've been talking for ten minutes. Here comes my heavy date for tonight. Bye. Who you call a heavy date? You. Can you wait outside for five minutes? Or will you get a ticket? Well, if I do, I can get it fixed. I have influence. <laughs> Why don't you look where you're going? See outside, baby. What do you see in a tall, dark, handsome fella? Plenty. Girls never say that to me. What do they say to you? Shh, nothing mixed up. Cosman Employment Agency. Yes, I have been on the phone for quite a while. I'm sorry, we don't list babysitters. Uh, just a minute, lady. You are, looking, you are looking at the world's greatest babysitter. That's right, yeah. miss. Sure. He is the best. Where do you fit into this? 
Oh, I'm his agent. Yes. He lets me keep 10% of everything I earn. I'm sorry I took so long, but fortunately a professional babysitter just came in. May I have your address, please? Thank you. He'll be right out. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, Miss. Gee, you're wonderful. I like girls like you. Eyes of blue and five feet two. Timber! Sorry to be late. It's okay. Shall we go? You mean you and I are going out together? You see, Dink, I have a way with girls. Please. Now, listen. Yes, Daddy. He's, he's so big. Come on, we've got a babysit. Get with it. Are you so clumsy? I'm excited. Why? This is my first job. Gee, I hope he's a sweet child. Oh. I love children. Come on. It's about time they got here. Are you the... Uh, babysitter? Uh, he sure is. You're kind of big for a baby. <laughs> You're not for me. Oh, uh, reject it again. I guess it isn't my night. Won't you come in? Uh, sure, sure. Well, we'll be plenty of comfortable here. But well, it's too late to get anyone else. Have you had much experience with babies? Oh, yes, sir. I've been a baby all my life. Uh, uh, don't you worry about Jack. Uh, the kids just love him. He makes them feel so superior. In which they are. Sure. Well, they're both sound asleep, and I'm sure you won't hear a sound out of them all night. But if you need anything... Oh, no, madam. I won't need a thing. I'm prepared for everything. No one's prepared for Donald. Hmm. Well, good luck, and we'll be home after 11. Oh, you're going out right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, costumes. Going to a masquerade ball? No, a play. Play? Kids are going to play. May I see out the door? Excuse me. May I help you? Oh, miss, in case I want to see the children, just where are they? Oh, they're in the bedroom down the hall. Thank you. Go ahead. you a story before you fall asleep? That's been tried, too. Oh, this kid. That's right, too. I'm telling you. I oughta, I oughta, I oughta. Jack and the Beanstalk. That's my favorite novel. Donna, can I read this to you? Well, I want to keep you happy. Let's hear how it goes. Thank you, Donald. Hmm. Once upon a time... That's pretty exciting, isn't it? 
Once upon a time, a whole village was ter... A whole village was ter... Terrorized. Yeah. Yeah. The whole village was terrorized by a fur... A fur... Ferocious. Yeah. Donald, do me a favor. This is a very exciting book about the giant and everything. Will you read it to me, please? I can't get over the big words. Only because I'm fascinated by you. Here, hold my club. Yes. Fascinated. Once upon a time, a whole village was terrorized mm -hmm. by a ferocious giant yeah. who lived in a castle in the sky. In this village lived a simple peasant boy named Jack and his widowed mother. They had come upon hard times because of the giant. One day, Jack was told to bring their only cow to the market and sell him for food. Jack, being a very stupid boy, saw I could have a glass of water. Yes, Your Highness. Uh-oh. See anything, Billy? Princess, I would have brung you to water. I'm a little tired of people waiting on me. It must be wonderful to be allowed to do everything you want to, whenever you want to. Oh, you don't get around much, do you? Well, what do you mean? You mean you haven't heard? There's no food in the village. The giant, he's taken everything. He's even taken your father's crown jewels, didn't he? That's why I have to marry Prince Arthur. Well, isn't it a love match? I've never even seen him. But his people have money. Did you ever have to marry a man you've never seen? They, they tell me I'm a boy. Well, thank you for the water. Thank you, Your Highness. And, Princess, remember, have courage. Fear nothing when you're in the right. That's my motto. Yes, Mother! Jack, you must stop talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself, Mother. I was talking to the Princess Eloise. Princesses don't talk to peasant boys. Oh, Jack, when are you going to grow up and get some sense? Does one go with the other? Jack, I've come to a very important decision. You're not going to give me away? No. If we're not to starve... I'll have to sell our last valuable possession. No, you're not going to sell the cow. She has to go. Fetch me a pail of water and then be on your way. Yes, Mother. Now, look, Henry. This is the last time I'm going to let you look. You look beautiful. You and I are going to part very soon. You're the only thing I I love. Now, this is the last look you're going to get, Henry. Take a look. Don't you look pretty? Oh, parting is such sorrow. we got to go, Henry. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Tell me, young fellow, will this road take me to the royal palace? No, sir, but your horse will. Say, you're Prince Arthur. So they tell me. Oh, boy, will the princess be surprised. Princess Eloise? Mm-hmm. 
You should have heard what she said about you this morning. No worse than I said about her. Any girl who will marry a man for his father's money. Oh, the giant! It's the giant, Henry. But you're safe with me. I won't let him take you. See? What did I tell you, Henry? I protected you. Now, look, Henry. I gotta go tell a prince about the bad giant they hear. Hey, prince. Where did you go? Oh, come on. This is no time to play games. Oh, Prince. Oh, Prince. Hey, Prince. He's a rough one, Henry. But why don't you have any cloth? My good woman. For cloth, you need wool, and for wool, you need sheep, and someone stole all our sheep. Oh, I don't believe that silly story about the giant. Oh, there's a giant all right, Mrs. Murgatroyd, because I saw him. You see a lot of things that other people don't. Did you really see him, Jack? I saw his shadow. How do you know it was the giant's shadow? That's a very good question. Goodbye. Where are you taking my cow? I'm going to take my cow to Mr. Dinklepush the butcher. Excitement. You have a whole cow. Hey, don't you try to deceive us. You're not going to hold this one for the black market. The idea of selling those less sirloin sticks for seven cents a pound, there ought to be a law. Oh, ladies, 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 I haven't seen a cow around here for months. But you bring somebody to me with such an animal, I'll reward him like he's never been rewarded in his life. I'll make him rich, richer beyond his dreams. I'll pour gold into his pocket. I'll pour gold so deep that... Wait a minute. Not that scrawny animal. <laughs> You're not trying to pawn him off to me as first-grade beef. Why, well, I wouldn't let my worst customer use him for stew. Her. And I love Henry. Well, everybody to their taste, but come inside, Jack, and I'll give you the best deal that I can afford. Come on, Henry. Imagine that. I mean, all the beef we haven't had. Me look at this big cow. I'd like to get some of that. I certainly would too. What's you doing? Hey, what's the idea of that? Well, I don't want everyone to know how generous I am. Oh, how much are you going to give me for the cow? Why, you're asking money for that wonderful animal? I was going to give you beans. What do I want with beans? What do you want with my magic beans? I should have my head examined. <laughs> Trying to make you rich. Money you're asking for, eh? I'll give you money. Worthless money. How much you want? Any price at all. How much? Now, wait a minute, Mr. Dinklepuss. I, I don't want that worthless money. Either I get the magic beans or I take Henry home. Oh, you, you strike a hard bargain, boy. No beans, no cow. Well, I know when I'm licked. Now, come on out in the garden. I keep my beans hidden out there. Come on. Magic beans. You've got to get up awfully early in the morning to put anything over on me. Come on, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Henry? One, two, three, four. Now, they must be around here someplace. We've got to keep them buried, you know. You can't let the village know where these magic beans are. They're priceless. There they are. My magic beans. Don't tell anybody that I gave them to you. Will you? Yes, sir. Shh. It's a secret. But I'll never realize, I'll never know how you ever talked me out of them. Mr. Dinklepuss. What? Can I say goodbye to Henry? Well, surely. Go ahead. Alone. Alone? Go right ahead. I gotta say goodbye now. Be a good boy for Mr. Dinklepuss. Do you mind if I kiss you goodbye, Henry? Yes. 
such a good pal. The princess. The giant has stolen the princess. Henry, you hear what you're yelling? The giant, the giant the has kidnapped the princess. Goodbye, Henry. I've been robbed. Mother! Mother! A terrible thing has happened. Oh, somebody swindled you out of our cow. Oh, no. I made a nice deal for Henry. But the giant kidnapped the princess and is holding her for ransom. Oh, the poor girl. I'll gladly contribute the money you got for the cow. Money? Only a fool would take worthless money for such a valuable animal. I got five magic beans. Oh, Jack. Why is it whenever I send you on an errand, you always do the wrong thing? One, two, three, four, five magic beans. Ain't I a smart boy for outsmarting a butcher? You were indeed. Plant the beans, my boy. Maybe they'll grow something that we can eat. Mother. Plant the beans, Jack. Plant the beans. I'll plant them. <laughs> oh, you're not ordinary beans, are you? Please, beans. Will you grow like magic beans so I can prove to my mother and everybody else that I'm not addled brain like they think I am? Or am I? Uh. Oh, magic beans. One, two, three, four, five. Grow. Please grow. Jack, will you please go to bed? Yes, Mother. Please grow for me, magic beans. Please. This isn't nonsense. This is the truth. Hey, are those the beans that I gave you for that cow that disappeared? You mean Henry ran away? Yes, and I want my beans back. Don't you dare disturb that beanstalk. It might lead up to the giant's castle. So what? So what? Maybe a brave boy will climb that beanstalk and kill the giant and save the princess and live happily ever after. Oh, no, Jack. The giant will kill you like he did your poor father. Have no fear, mother. I'm going to climb that beanstalk, and I'm going to kill the giant and avenge my father. And then I'm going to save the princess, and while I'm up there, I'll look for our little Nellie. 
You mean this boy had a sister? You poor unfortunate woman. Oh, no. Nellie was our hen who laid the golden eggs. A hen that lays a golden egg? 14 carat. Up there? Oh, sure. Well, let me help you, my boy. Goodbye, mother. I'll go along with you. Goodbye, mother. That's the boy. Take your time now. Here we go. Goodbye, mother. Don't worry, Mrs. Strong. He won't be back. Oh, you don't understand. He wasn't much, but he was all I had. Tonight the two will be bottling alcohol. There goes Jack, the village moon, and almost up the beanstalk, scampering to the moon. Doesn't know what he's doing. He's hurrying to his room. Now giant finds it bothersome to grapple with the midget. He'll pinion Jack beneath his thumb and spank him with a digit. Spank him with a digit. Giant. Come on. Mr. Dinklepuss. Now, wait a minute. Are you sure that hen Nellie lays golden eggs? Uh-huh. 14 carat? Uh-huh. Well, then don't be afraid. I won't. Just follow me. Take a 
necklace. What's the matter? How come your shadow is bigger than mine? Well, the taller you are, the taller your shadow. You see, that's the basic principle of mathematics. I am shorter than you. Therefore, my shadow should be smaller than yours. Mathematically speaking, right? Right. Why? My shadow was making a fool out of your mathematics. But I... Why, that's impossible. That can't be your shadow. No? Well, watch this. Amazing. Eh? You think so? Now, watch this. Can you imagine that? Now, if I didn't see this with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. It's absolute... It's a... Hey. What? This... Uh, this... Uh... Hey, Mr. Dickerpost, you got to look at this. This, this, is, this is terrific. Mr. Dinklepuss. Mr. Dinklepuss! Oh, I think he's afraid of my shadow. Why don't you be like me? I'm brave. Because I fear nothing when I am in the right. Whoever pushes me around will find me full of fight. I fear absolutely nothing when I'm in the right. <laughs> a man believes what he believes. And by these principles, a man must stand. A time will come for rolled up sleeves. And it might help to have a fist on hand. If I believe that I am right, there's only one thing to be done. I don't go looking for a fight, but I have never run away from one. But only fools will take a dare. And there are things that only fools do find. If you smell trouble in the air, I'll hold my breath until the breeze blows by. I'll snore defiance like some rhinoceros, afraid of giants. Now isn't that preposterous? I find courage a thing of great delight. Sing feely and feely, I would steady hand and steely I I fear nothing when I am in the right. through the forest. Did you see what I saw? Did you see that giant? He's as big as the trees. Please, why did you ever talk me into this thing? I didn't talk you into this. Now listen, you know my reputation in the village. You know I had to listen to you. Why did I ever let you do it? Why did you do it? Look, Don't stand there with your mouth wide open. Say something. Mr. Tinklepuss, 
I'm up here to save the princess. The princess. We gotta save her. You're right. The There's princess. the castle. Let's go. Come on. I. What am I doing? Go ahead. trifle too small for me. A trifle, she says. Glory be, I do wish I knew why the master keeps a wench like you around. He likes my cooking. And I don't want to hear another word out of you. A cook? Can you make an Irish stew? Can you boil a potato like my poor mother used to boil them? I can put you back in the cupboard if you don't shut up. And I can tell the master you'd never put the princess in our cell like he told you to. You win this time. Patrick always wins. Come back to Erden, my phoning, my phoning. Ah, it is in fine voice I am today. I still can't believe that harp talks. He talks too much. How do I look? Ready to be locked up. Or do I have to be? Orders, me dainty beauty, orders. Unfortunately, he's right. I meant to ask you, are you the giant's wife? Heavens no. I'm his housekeeper. He stole me last year from another kingdom. Well, what'll he do with me? Release you for ransom money, perhaps. And if there is no ransom money? You'd make a lovely Sunday dinner. Thank you for calling in music, whoever you may be. Who is he? A troubadour the giant picked up yesterday. Who are you? Just a girl from the village below. What's your name? Um, Darlene. Are you as pretty as your name? My guess is yes. That's a nice melody. Are there words to it? Not yet, but there can be by tonight. What will you be doing? Mm, what did you have in mind? A rendezvous in the garden. I'll speak to the giant about it. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Mister, if I'm too heavy for you, I just leave walk. Me too. Open the door. Take me with you. Some extra help for the kitchen. You're a little one, aren't you? But I grow on people. <laughs> bless you, me boy, bless you. What's that? What do you know? A talking harp. You said that? I said bless you. And I'm sorry now that I see your silly little face a bit closer. Oh, uh, I mean... Thank you, Master. Oh, tis a sight for sore eyes it is, yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Well, I'm off to hunt in the forest. Will you want any supper? Just a midnight snack. Anyone we know? Could be. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Did you hear that? I hope it's not me. <laughs> well, what's the matter with you? <laughs> You're standing on my foot. Ah. Oh. Come with me. Duck. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you show me and I'll show him. Make the little fat one work till his back breaks. How oh, I love the sound of cracking bones. You're a bad heart and you're going to have a bad end. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. All right, Blabbermouth. Into the cupboard you go. Don't you dare put me in that dark cupboard again. Don't you dare. A thousand curses on you. I'll, I'll have me revenge. Come back to work in the morning, the morning. A thousand curses on you, Master Ma- That harp had very bad bringing up. You must be hungry. Would you like a glass of milk before supper's ready? Uh, thanks. Thank you, miss. Or is it missus? It's miss. Why? Well, when I look at you... Now, now, wait, now, now. You're too young to go out with girls. Yeah, but this might age me fast. Here's to us. Now, leave that alone. Don't lose any of it. Well, don't get hoggish. To us. us. Why, you sweep me off my feet. I'd need a little help for that. Well, here. It's Henry's. She's here. How do you know? No other milk ever tasted this pleasant. Where is she? There's plenty of time for that, but I have an idea how we can escape if you're interested. We're interested. Not me. Not unless I can take along the princess. Does she mean that much to you? Oh, no. You jealous? You needn't be. I promised my mother that I would return home with the princess. And after all, a boy's best mother is his friend... Your song's finished. My song? Listen. Darling, a song for darling. Darling, for you alone. Darling, your name is music. in heaven who walks with music and it's heaven being here heaven being very darling my darling darling It's mush. Jack! Princess! Shh, shh, don't call me that. What do you hear? Incognito? Well, sort of. There's a young man in the next cell, and I don't want him to know who I am. Why not? All my life, I've wanted someone to know me as me, not as Princess Eloise. You have but to command, Your Highness. Here, eat this. That will make you good and strong so we can sail it over the wall. Sail me over the wall? Yes. We're going to build catapults out in the garden. And the housekeeper, she thought of it. She's on our side. Oh, wonderful. You don't suppose she'd let us out tonight for a rendezvous in the garden? Princess, I didn't think that you cared for me. Not you. I meant the young man I told you about. Oh. Well, if I approve. After all, I am one of your royal subjects. And I do so want to see our princess go out with the right fellow. Goodbye, Your Highness. Prince Arthur, I wondered what happened to you. Say, uh, aren't you the young fellow with the cow? I'm alone now. Here's your supper. I guess the princess was disappointed when I didn't show up at the wedding. I never saw a girl cry so much in her life. What are you whispering for? I don't want the girl in the other cell to know I'm a prince. You know... No, uh, look, you seem to have some influence around here. You don't suppose you could uh, let you out tonight so you could have a rendezvous in the garden? How did you know? It's a secret. But first of all, I'll have to get you some other clothes, because the clothes you have on make you look too much like a prince. Prince? 
Oh, Your Highness, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. What have you decided? Well, his parents don't have the background of yours, but he's a wonderful fellow, and your loyal subject approves. Thank you, Jack. the housekeeper, and I'm going to tell you. What's on your mind? The prince is not the prince, and the princess is not the princess. Then who are they? Just a boy and girl in love. Tonight, I want you to order a full moon and keep the stars shining bright. History is going to be made tonight. Princess. Mr. Dinklepuss, I just got through telling you. She's not the princess. She's Darlene, aren't you, princess? Are these the catapults? The, yes, this is my own creation. You see, all you have to do is get on here... I cut the rope and zoom you right over the wall. Will it work? She's asking me, will it work? <laughs> I'm asking you, too. Will it work? Will it work? Get on here, Jack. Wait a minute. Is it dangerous? Well, it's far too dangerous for a human being. But get on here. I'll show you whether it'll work or not. Get... Wait a minute. Too dangerous. Much too dangerous for a human being. <laughs> Come, Princess. I mean, Darlene. <laughs> Oh, it's a lovely night to be somebody else. Tell me, what's he like? He sings very pretty. Oh, I know, but shall I... Shall I let him kiss me if he tries? Oh, princess. Why not? I have your word you won't try to escape. You have my word. loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Stop right there. Don't take a chance. Your. And your. That's right. Is it? I didn't expect somebody so. Neither did I. Won't you? Sit down. Thank you, I will. Would I be bold if I... If you put your arm around me? There's a dreamer's club that dreamers weave A tapestry of make-believe Fabric from the mill of dreams. The threads are golden of silken strands, but not to hold in these eager Hey. 
Maybe if someday our arms entwine, we'll weave our dreamers cloth that's yours and mine. If only dreamers cloth were yours and mine. She's kissing him. They're in love. Dance? Yes. Hens, like finding the one that lays the golden egg. Are they like cricket? No. Ah, I'm sick and tired of that line. <laughs> Mr. Dinglepuss? Yes? Did you find out yet? Not yet. Have you got that chicken food uh, mixed up yet? Oh, we'll be soon. And where did you see the eggs they lay? Well, hurry up. I've got to get to the catapults. Well, feed the chickens. I will.
And a good, good morning to you, Master. Aiden Cobra. Good morning, Hart. Housekeeper, housekeeper. Where's my breakfast? On the way. And bring me my favorite hen. For heaven forbid, do you see in that white feathered biddy? Golden eggs, Patrick. Solid golden eggs. The cells are unlocked and I put the keys back. The whispering master. What are they whispering about? Oh, I hate him. Please take care of yourself. I think she's worried. She cares for me. Where's my breakfast? Beautiful they are, but can they bring you happiness? How then then we'll get in here? Where's my breakfast? You are the giant. Can I help you put them away? Can I trust you? Uh, why, what a ridiculous question. Can I trust you? Well, frankly, no. My jewel of jewels. My jewel of jewels. What can she do that I can't do? Can you lay a golden egg? I shudder at the thought. Show him how talented you are. Lay, Em, lay. Only gold. It's my main source of wealth. Take her away. You. Uh, yes, sir. I like a dishonest man who admits it. Carry these jewels back to the vault. She'll show you where it is. Yes, sir. Do I or don't I get my breakfast? Yes, sir. Man could starve around here. Make me a small omelet. Two eggs. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Fresh laid this morning. I fixed them special breakfast food myself. Don't explode. Oh, no. Oh, this. Giant, you should eat something. Yeah. 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 No. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dinkopus! Uh, Mr. Dinkopus! Boy, when the giant gets at the stomach. I'll go get the giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum, 
may smell the blood of an Englishman, be he alive or be he dead, I grind his bones and make my bread. since I seen a pork chop in the window. And you have no fear. Polly and I, we chained the giant up down in the dungeon. He can't get away because I left him...
I'm all right. Come on, let's get to the catapults.
was a close one. Afraid he gave his life for us. heaven you're safe. She's the princess? Princess Eloise? Why, of course, Prince Arthur. Who did you think she was? But what are you doing in those clothes? You're Prince Arthur? Small world, isn't it? I never want to speak to you again as long as I live. Let us go, Father. Darlene, I mean Eloise, what's the difference who we are as long as we love each other? You knew all the time a prince couldn't break an engagement. And neither could a princess. How are you going to get out of marrying Prince Arthur? Well, how are you going to get out of marrying Princess Eloise? But that's who you two are. Don't you remember? Where's my poor boy? What's happened to Jack? The last I saw him, he was dueling unto death with a giant. Oh, oh but a braver lad never lived. Ready or not, here I come! There's your boy. Come on there, boy. There's a hero if there ever was one. You should see him. Come on, boy. My boy. My boy, my boy. Oh, mother. When am I going to prove that I'm a man?
Giant were alive, alive this very minute. Look inside his grave and see how lovely he looks in it. He's all laid up like a very good stuff, and he never looked better in his life. We're happy to give the devil his due, and he never looked better in his life. We sing ta la la ta la la ha 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 la la. He's perpendicular. He wouldn't know the monster, and if he knew him, he would be the only one who watched her. He met his doom. He fought down and go boom, and he never looked better in his life. Someday, by gosh, he'll be acres of squash, and he never looked better in his life. He fell on his word of la la la, ha ha, cha la la. He's perpendicular, la la la. Several branches of the beanstalk for a necktie. I never seen a better looking couple so delectai. His toes are curled and he's out of this world and he never looks better in his life. And there he lays to the end of his days and he never looked better in his life. So tune up the orchestra, la la. Pushes me around will find me for 